we're back at Wells. Two Wells. It in Wells is a p p place. And we can either go to the communications terminal, but I think we want to go ahead and chit chat with him real quick and see what he's got to say about everything. I've kept myself busy in your absence. Optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. Oh, I'll give it all to you, big boy. Uh, so, yeah, um, quick side note. We need to talk about the colony. What? Oh, yes, well, that's obvious. Anyone with two working lamps can see this colony slouching toward oblivion. Why do you think we've been doing all this? I revived you to help me save Halcyon from annihilation. Um, but, yeah, it, it gets worse. Hold on. Let me see if I understand this correctly. You're saying that Halcyon's on the brink of total collapse? And the chairman's plan to save all of us is to save himself? Yeah. I always knew Halcyon was heading toward a system's collapse, but I never imagined we were already there. The board made this crisis, and now they want to solve it by freezing the rest of us? Yeah. That's not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. Yeah. That makes two things we don't have. Time and chemicals to revive the other settlers. None of this was supposed to happen. I was supposed to revive the Hope's colonists. We were supposed to have enough time to solve the problem before we all starved. I mean, I found the chemicals, though, so... Well... Human test subjects. Oh, that's grotesque. That's unthinkable. That's exactly what I'd expect out of the board. They're dead. Oh, they're dead. Um... Thank you. You've brought me enough chemicals to get started, at least. I'm just sorry they came at the cost of human lives. Those poor people, they must have died in agony. What exactly was the board trying to accomplish? Well, I just explained to you what they were doing. You say the board's trying to freeze their subjects over and over again without inflicting permanent damage? Well, they're nowhere close to solving that problem. I'll tell you this much. The board scientists are hopelessly lost. After years of fruitless experimentation, they've made exactly zero progress. How do you know? I mean, yeah, what makes you say that? Because do, do you have inside information that you should have told us before? I used to work for these people. Mm. I'm intimately familiar with the utter incompetence of the board's own scientists. Color me surprised. We're out of time. We're out of chemicals. We may very well be out of options. If the board has their way, we're all going to be spending the rest of our lives frozen in stasis. Do you realize what this means for the Hope? For your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all. Toss them out into space just to make room in their hibernation chambers. Well, we can't necessarily have that, I guess. Oh, by the way, I killed pretty much everybody in the entire town. Well, all the guards, at least. And I tried to kill at least parents. But that was more like an alternate history thing. Just to see what would happen. He had a beanie, though. That was kind of cool. Uh, Short of lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back of the head. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists... The brightest minds Earth ever sent us, uncorrupted by the board. The board's going to dispose of them all and transform the Hope into a prison for the rest of us. They're likely on their way to the Hope as we speak. We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the Hope. Well, well I guess I have enough science to be doing this. Merciful gibbering law, you're a genius! We bring the hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. Oh, uh, we're, we're, they're probably damaged. We have to 
Use power. Yes, yes, exactly. You're a step ahead of me, but I perceive the shape of your plan. If we link up the hope to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra 2. I've got a healthy disregard for personal safety, but this sounds crazy, even to me. Your instincts are correct. By any reasonable definition of sanity, this plan is crazy. Isn't it wonderful? You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope's skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. So, I mean, okay. Um, Alright. Seems fair enough, I guess. We just gotta hook things up with, you know, an extension cord and then uh, slingshot. What could go wrong? Other than everything. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers. Scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. That was 143,000 experience. Yeesh. Um, yeah, and someone told me to put a tracking thingy on you. You absolutely should. What? I, I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. <laughs> Sarcasm. The last refuge of the witless. The mm. adjutant must have sent you some kind of tracking code. If you don't use the code, she'll suspect you betrayed her. Betrayed her? I think you should use the code and send a corrupted tracking signal. That should buy me some time. Is that... A signal dipped in like malware with like porn or something attached. The board's going to catch up to me sooner or later. This way I'll have time to set up some particularly nasty defenses. Use my communications terminal to corrupt the tracking signal. While the board busies themselves trying to decipher it, I'll have plenty of time to prepare my defenses. All right. All righty. Well, sure. We can have a little bit more conversation, I guess. Certainly. How can I help? Um. Yeah, we're probably going to get resistance. Skip drives were never designed to be used within a system, but I skipped my ship across Halcyon when I rescued you, and that turned out fine, mostly. That is, I ruined my ship and nearly killed myself in the process, but the maneuver was well within acceptable margins of risk. You'll be fine. Fine. You'll be fine. Fine. You'll be fine. 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 Uh, yeah, well, all right. They're, I'm sure we're going to get resistance. I'm sure everybody hates us, so... It wouldn't surprise me. When I pulled you out of the hope, the board nearly intercepted me. I expect they stepped up security since my little act of larceny. All right, that's fair enough. Uh, yeah. Unlikely. The hope is as massive as the Groundbreaker, but compared to the Rings of Terra 2, positively minuscule. Like the board no. might notice, possibly, depending on the position of their heads relative to the depth of their collective posteriors. It's <laughs> <laughs> talking about a butt. Can we talk? Oh yeah, by the way, Ellie's here. Right here. She's here. Right here. And the Yoka's here. Right here. Ellie's with us still. Because I loaded a save. So we're really gonna do this? Yeah, why not? I've seen lots of crazy, Captain. But Phineas is in a class of his own. Eh, whatever. Do you really think he knows what he's doing? Sending us to skip the hope into Teratu's orbit right under the board's nose? Eh. 
there, there, sure. Something tells me you're the first person to ever utter those words, Captain. Stop being so negative. I think this whole plan's insane. But it'll make a good story. You know, if we survive. Negative Nancy. Speaking of, I get that Phineas thinks he's saving the colony. But what about you? Why risk your neck on this crazy scheme? Because mm. it's just my kind of crazy. Uh, you know. Yay! I'm gonna try to forget that you've been calling the shots this whole time. Yeah, whatever. Still, all this depends on the other Hope colonists. Are they gonna pull us out of the shit? Or are we all just gonna leave a bigger, uglier stain on this corner of the galaxy? Who knows, we're all die anyway, it doesn't matter. You're too trusting. Everything and I'm gonna I... remember that when I negotiate for my cut of our reward, okay? Everything I say. Well, whenever everything. you're ready to do this, I'm with you. Everything. Anything else? Yeah, shut up. Everything I say, you are like, oh, I don't, I don't like that, or no, I don't agree. So, if I can't win for losing, I'm just gonna tell you to shut up. So, uh, shut up. I can't get in. I can't get in! Okay. Oh, that didn't even level us. I mean, we're almost leveled, but it didn't level us. Do we use this one? Is this the communications terminal? This one? Yeah, this one. Send corrupted tracking signal. Yay! We did it! Huzzah! We're level 29! I guess I'll level up after we transition to the unreliable. I'll just do it during the pause. Sure, I'll see you on the other side. I'm impressed, Captain. I almost expected you wouldn't go through with it. Unfortunately, Dr. Wells found a way to corrupt the signal before we could pinpoint his location. Still, it's only a matter of time before we find him. Come visit me in Byzantium. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. Mm. Mm. I mean, Byzantium... Oh! Oh, never mind. We're neutral with the board. Ha! Huh, that works. There, there we go. Never mind. I was like, mm, I don't think I can go there without getting utterly attacked within two seconds. Because I'm not in the business of arresting my own allies. You have my word. Meet me in my office. I've authorized your ship at my personal landing pad. Adjutant Akande has ended her call. Rather rudely, if I might say, considering she didn't sign off. Will there be anything else, Captain? Uh, I mean... Nah, well, I guess we just go to Byzantium or something. Or we can go to the Hope. I say we go to Byzantium and see what she has to say. Um, I may, I may... We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. I may drop a savey kind of deuce before I uh, head out in there. That way, you know... If it's like a point of, not a point of no return, but if it's like a, you know, agree with us or die kind of thing. You know, I just kill everybody, I guess. So, yeah, I'll see you on the other side of this loading screen. I guess we'll see what Akande has to say. You guys ready? Let's go! Hello, I am neutral with you now. Because I'm sure if I say no, you guys are going to want to kill me anyway. Hello. Neutral. Neutral. I'm neutral. Not so fast. What? All right, you're clear. The adjutant's expecting you. Go on through. Thank you. All right. Um. Hello. Neutral. Neutral. My neutrality is a bounds of many kinds of neutrals. 
So you guys think this is a good idea? Should we be chit-chatting up with the enemy? Yes? No? I don't care. Hmm. That wasn't me. Wait, where am I going? Wait, what? what is this a different... Where am I going? I'm so lost. Okay, this way. Hello, um... Sir. I admit part of me expected you to stand by your old friend. For better or worse, Wells was responsible for putting you back on your feet. Uh... Yeah... What's... what's up? I understand you've infiltrated the Ministry. The things you discovered there must have been shocking. Even disturbing. Halcyon is on the verge of a total systems collapse. The truth is ugly and difficult to accept, but we must accept the truth before we can move forward. Malnutrition is already a problem. Disease will come next, followed by starvation, followed by a breakdown of society, followed by extinction. Mm. I know this must come as a surprise to you. I imagine you have questions. Meh. Guess monarch folk ain't the only ones fucked around here. That ain't exactly an uplifting thought. I know your face. Stellar Bay's most infamous hunter. How curious that you've thrown your lot in with the captain. Monarch may harbor delusions of independence, but make no mistake. You are a part of our colony. If we fall, Monarch falls with us. What's in this for you? There's gotta be an angle. There always is for people like you. I appreciate your skepticism, Dr. Fenhill. But I'm not doing this for any personal gain. She knows everything! My angle is the preservation of our colony by any means possible. Nothing more. And nothing less. I won't pretend the truth isn't damning. Yes, the colony is on the verge of collapse. But there is a way to save it. Mm, right, so... Yeah, what, what is it? Is it murderize everybody? Send them to retirement rooms full of retirement robots that give you retirement death? We need to talk about Emerald Vale. What? You handed Edgewater over to a band of dissidents. I can't have this. Adelaide McDevitt and her people have no place in the Halcyon that is to come. Damn. Edgewater needs to go. Damn. I want you to wipe the town out. Damn. No survivors. I get that you board types are all about efficiency, but isn't this a bit much? I'm asking your captain to amputate a rotting limb from the colony. I'd expect you to understand, Dr. Fenhill. I will hunt beasts until I'm out of ammunition, and then I'll fight a good long while after. But I am not about to mow down a crowd of innocent people. Then I suggest you find your courage, or pretend you're hunting beasts. Damn. Now is not the time for half measures, Captain. I need a decision from you. No, I mean, I spent all that time doing that. Uh, yeah, what, what did they do? You replaced a loyal, if hard-headed, town leader with a revolutionary. He was an idiot. Adelaide's people have turned Edgewater into a hub of dissidents. These people are dangerous. They're going to become more dangerous after the collapse. We need to put them down. I mean, they're making now. food. So... Did, did, why me? Because right now you're the only person I can depend on. That's sketchy. My hands are tied by endless rolls of red tape and bureaucratic limitations. Halcyon is going to collapse while the board hems and haws and debates minutia. We need to act. And you're the only person with the wherewithal to do what's necessary. Mm. I'm not asking you to be a murderer. I'm asking you to be a surgeon. Edgewater is a necrotic limb on the body of the colony. It must be severed. It's gross. Um, yeah, they're, they're self-sufficient. They're, they're doing their own thing. Don't fool yourself. I'm not. The dissidents occupying Edgewater are rebels harboring dangerous and seditious ideas. Ah, I see what it is now. Left to their own devices, 
their numbers will grow. You're threatened. Graham Bryant and his merry band of morons caused enough trouble on Monarch. He's dead. I won't risk the same thing happening in Edgewater. Mm -hmm. So you just want them dead. Yeah, no. Don't make this more difficult than it needs to be, Captain. I rather like you. And I'd hate to have you shot for disobeying a direct order. Oh, so we are going to go back to you guys hating us. Um, no. I'm disappointed. I was so sure you had potential. Yeah. Take your best shot, asshole. Yeah. Everyone all right? Oh, they hate Can me again. Talk? You want to talk after that? What up? Something on your mind? Oh, you weren't the one that wanted to talk? Hold on. Uh, sup? What's up? Okay, so you weren't the one that wanted to talk? Who wanted to talk? Also, now we have to fight everybody leaving this place. Ugh. I wasn't going to kill everybody, though. Like, they're not doing anything. Do but they have ideas, they think. You know, F off. Hello. What? Here they come. Yeah, hey buddy. Hi friend. Oh wait, did they lock the door on me? What a-holes. Hello. I actually liked you. Of him. I didn't mean to cut off your head, Sparza. Really, I didn't because you know you were nice. You let me in, but it was your it was your buddy. She wanted me to do something stupid. I said no. You know how it goes. All right, so. Oh, jeez. Nothing. It was absolutely nothing. It's a little overdramatic, don't you think? So, when we can... Well, I guess. Well, doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, so we weren't going to kill any of everybody in Edgewater. That's just stupid. But, uh, yeah, so I guess we head to the Hope and we do the last part of this jib jive. And that's skip de 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 lip de do da back out to Phineas where he awakens everybody. And we save the world or we probably all die and whatnot, you know, as you do. So when we come back, we're going to go ahead and be in here going to the Hope or at the Hope. I'll figure out which one it is. We'll see what happens. And then we will uh, get this last little bit of the story on the road. And we'll see if we can win. If we can win. Till then, y'all take care. Of course, have a good one. <laughs>